topic is relying on the will of God. We will read the verse uh, 5 to 9. Now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, for I do pass through Macedonia in verse 6 and it may be that I will abide ye in winter with you. I repeat and it may be that I will abide ye in winter with you, that ye may be bring me on my journey, whithersoever I go, or whatsoever I go. Verse 7. For I will not see you now by the way, but I trust to tarry a while with you, if the Lord permit. But I will tarry at Ephesus until Pentecost. For a great door in Ephesus is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. So from this uh, verse that we have read, we got the message relying on the will of God. As we have uh, quote verse 7, For I will not see you now by the way, 
but I trust to tarry while with you. That is the longing of Apostle Paul. He wants to see the brethren and to stay with them. But he said, if the Lord's permit. So every one of us have a personal plan. Every one of us want to do something. Maybe your plan is God. Or I do not know what kind of plan that you have. Apostle Paul plan here is uh, had a plan, but there are reasons why we rather to rely on God's plan or His will. Literally, for we don't know what is ahead on us. That is uh, what I am understand and what Paul want to see. We have to rely on God's will because. Even our plan is uh, will and good, and we see that the situation is good, the weather is good, but we do not know that there is a changes after one hour or after a day, or what is coming tomorrow. We do not know. So we just rely on the will of God. Little B, don't go ahead on the plan of God. Sometimes, We are trying to go ahead on the plan of God. Why we have to wait the plan of God? Why we have to wait the will of God? For what is in our thought, it is not the thought of God. Sometimes we have a many thoughts. We are thinking so many things. And it seems they are good unto us. And in accordance to our understanding, we see that maybe this is the will of God. Because it's a timing. We will see that. Oh, we will see that because it was provided. So this is the will of God. So we will conclude that that is the will of God. But sometimes what we are doing is we are go ahead on the plan of God. So hopefully you understand that uh, dear children. To make a plan is good, but we have to wait on the will of God. Do not go ahead on the plan of God. Peter said, don't put God behind you, but put yourself behind God. Why? Why? Why don't put God behind you? Well, sometimes this is what was happening. Because we are persisting sometimes. Or sometimes we don't accept the will of God. There are many stories that I have been heard that uh, they are longing somebody, they are longing someone, and they speak that what they are longing is beautiful or handsome. And when the time that God allow the fulfillment of their prayer, they was disappointed because it not it is not in accordance to their imagination. So they renounced to accept the will of God. That is what was happening. But for us, we have to follow the will of God. We just stay on his behind. And where God will go, then we will go. Don't know that we are the one to go what we want to go in. Say to God, this is thy will. We convince God to approve our will. That is what was happening sometimes in our life. Little day. Why we have to rely on the will of God? There are open doors behind. Or there are open doors on the future. The open doors is on the future ahead. As we have read here in verse 9, For a great doors in a thick one is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. Apostle Paul said here that uh, as he quote, as he said here in verse 7, we quote his word, If God permit, he has a plan to go in the church and to stay with them. But he said, if God permit, because 
according to him in verse 9, there are great doors, and he picked one unto me, and there are many adversaries. There are open doors unto him. Maybe it was already appeared, it was already manifested unto him, these doors, or he had seen in his vision. I do not know if you understand this dear children about this uh, Apostle Paul uh, saying that there are great doors open unto him. But at the end of this verse, he mentioned adversaries. So we understand that these great doors, it is God who opened these doors and they are great doors. I remember Jeremiah call unto me and I will show you the great things that is what Jehovah said to Jeremiah Jeremiah was called by God at a young age to become a prophet so God told to him call unto me and I will show you the great things and it seems this is what Apostle Paul said There are great doors that was open unto him. I don't know if somebody of you here had already facing the face a great doors before him. I don't know what are these great doors, but it is God now. It is in God's will if He will open the great doors unto you. No one can recognize that. No one will know that. It's only you. Whom God opened that door for you in the future. Maybe tomorrow. So, keep on pray, Daniel. You do not know if God will open this great door into your future. Even me, I don't understand. But it's only you can understand when you come to that door. In this door is an epictual. It is the door of gifts expansion. So this is a challenge uh, door for Apostle Paul to exercise his knowledge, his wisdom. So what I understand is maybe someday you will have a job and that your job that is where you will exercise your skill. That is an example. It is God who will open this to every one of you. I do not know. It's only God who knows. And it's only you who knows this. What will be open unto your future. It is God who will open this great doors. It is God who will open this great privilege unto your life. And Number three, in the future, there are also adversary. Repeat the words of Apostle Paul. For a great doors and effectual open unto me, and there are many adversaries. When God opened the door of blessings, if that is a door of blessings. When God opened the door of privilege, if that is a door of privilege, then at that time, the adversaries will come up also as they will become an obstruction just trying to, to, to block your way to misleading you so that you miss these great blessings you miss these great doors unto your life that is the work of the devil so this is what the reason why we have to rely on the will of God it's only God who knows what is in our future. It's only God who knows the solution. How, how we can uh, solve what this future means in our life. So we do not rely on our own understanding in our own skill. Just rely on the will of God. We really don't know what, what is in our future.
And there's no problem if we rely on the will of God. Don't uh, see that uh, we are complete, we have everything, and we don't need the guidance of God. For us, being a Christian, we really need the guidance of God. So we have to rely on His will. And we have to accept the will of God in our life. Sometimes there are Christians who become abnormal unto their life because they don't accept the truth. They don't accept the will of God unto their life because they were insisting, trying to persist in, to convince God to approve on their own will, which is not the will of God. That is the problem on the Christian sometimes. But on this moment, this is the word of God. I do not know if you have a plan today. I do not know what is your vision, what do you want to do. But this is the message of God. Rely on the will of God and wait. God's timing unto you. Oh, the pathway seems narrow As he leads me on I walk in his shadow Every fear is all gone My spirit grows stronger Each moment, each day For I'm following Jesus Each step of the way Following Jesus One step at a time Yes, I live for the moment In His love Why think of tomorrow? Just live for today. I'm following Jesus each step.
myself at a time I live for the moment In His love divine Why think of tomorrow Just live for today I'm following Jesus Each step of the way I'm following Jesus Each step